Hello, Brian Knowlton back with another super cool tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn about parallel circuits. A parallel circuit is a circuit in which the electricity travels through each device independently that is wired to the circuit. For example, in this illustration, we have three light bulbs wired in parallel. The bulbs are a 60 watt, a 100 watt, and a 200 watt. The total electricity traveling through the wire at this location is 360 watts. However, at each location here, here, and here, the electricity flow is only 60 watts, 100 watts, and 200 watts respectively. To calculate the resistance, we can either test the ohm's resistance through the entire circuit, or if that is not possible and we want to determine the resistance through the entire circuit, we can use this formula. Now if we use the same three light bulbs for this example, this is how we will solve it. The resistance of each device is plugged into this equation. Now don't get intimidated, we're going to walk you through this each step of the way. First, to add fractions, we must get a common denominator. So we're going to take the resistance of each of the three light bulbs. The resistances are 72 ohms, 144 ohms, and 248 ohms. These are the respective resistances of each light bulb. If you need to know how to calculate what these resistances are, go watch the tutorial titled Resistance Dash Calculating with Ohm's Law. Now if we set these up in fractions, we should all remember that to add fractions, the first thing we have to do is get a common denominator. Now the easiest way to do that is to multiply each of your denominators together. So we are going to take 144 multiplied by 72 over 72 multiplied by 240 over 240. Now remember when we multiply anything this way that we're actually just multiplying by 1. So the value of our fraction really hasn't changed. Now we repeat the process on 1 over over 72 multiplied by 144 over 144 and multiplied by 240 over 240. And finally 1 over 240 multiplied by 72 over 72 multiplied by 144 over 144. Now when we're multiplying and we end up with all these, we're going to end up with, if you'll notice, all these numbers are the same all the way across the bottom. So that is going to give us our lowest common denominator. We multiply these out and we get 2,488,464. Multiplying 72 by 240 gives us 17,280. Multiplying 144 by 240 gives us 34,560. And finally multiplying 72 by 144 gives us 10,368. Now when we're adding fractions we do not change the bottom, the bottom stays the same, the top will give us 62,208 over 2,488,464. Now the easiest way to do this is just divide the bottom by the top. If we put that into a calculator we will come up with 40.003. We're just going to round that off. So just call it 1 over 40. Now referring back to our formula we, we, are, we see here that x is actually equal to the reciprocal of what our answer is. Now our answer is 1 over 40. To get any reciprocal all we do is we flip the fraction upside down. In this example we flip it upside down we end up with 40 over 1 and 40 over 1 if you'll recall is just 40. So the resistance of this circuit should be 40 ohms. This concludes our tutorial on parallel circuits. Please stay tuned and let us introduce you to the super cool slide rule. It is the most useful tool in the HVAC industry. It is guaranteed to save you countless hours. It's the best 20 bucks you'll ever spend. Uh, it gives you rapid access to all the HVAC data you could possibly imagine. Thanks for watching. Hello, I'd like to take a minute to introduce you to the coolest tool in the HVAC industry. Historically, technicians have carried four or five different slide rules. You have one for R22 one for R410A, one for metal duct sizing, one for flexible duct sizing, and yet others for diagnostics or troubleshooting. Thankfully those days are gone. This one tool 
will allow you to charge a system with R22 or R410A and either the superheater subcooling method. The back cover contains required formulas, it has capacitors rules and practices, a wet bulb conversion chart, how to perform computations on series or parallel circuits, an electric heat strip guide, a complete system troubleshooting diagnostic chart, and how to troubleshoot compressors in TXV. Inside is packed with even more information. It performs sizing of both metal and flexible duct. It has the only direct reading conversion from smooth metal to insulation line metal we've ever seen. The majority of technicians have never been taught that if the insulation is on the inside of the ductwork, you cannot size it with a regular duct calculator. It has step-by-step -step directions for determining airflow through a gas furnace, electric furnace, or an air conditioning unit. It has pressure drop multipliers for duct work, as well as recommended velocities. And finally, the scanning of this QR code gives instant access to over 100 tutorials to assist the technician with every test and repair imaginable. You owe it to yourself, as well as your customers, to own this tool. It's less than $20, including shipping. The Supercool will save you countless hours of frustration when troubleshooting units. Log on to our website and get one today, and I promise you will be a better technician tomorrow. And remember, every technician is only as good as their tools. Thanks for watching.